Yeah. Sure, sure. Yeah, eight sounds good. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's her type of movie. Hold on, I'll ask her. Hey, do you want to come with us to watch Dune later? N no, it's the second one. Mm-hmm. With Timothy Chalamet. Really? You sure? <laughs> she says she's in. No, no, I'll buy hers. Just text me how much I owe you. Okay, bye. Since when do you like sci-fi? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> if you say so. Uh, anyway, uh, Sam said Lou will get us the tickets. No, you're not. I still owe you for dragging me to Barbie, remember? Yeah, and I don't want you paying if you're just going to end up falling asleep in the theater like last time. I mean, I know Kubrick isn't for everyone, but how can you pass out during Space Odyssey? <laughs> yes, you did. I have irrefutable proof. Sure I do. My jacket still has a drool stain from when you used it as a pillow. <laughs> what? You don't believe me? You want me to go get it? Okay, okay. We'll just agree to disagree then. <laughs> just don't say I didn't warn you. This movie is almost three hours. Oh? And how are you going to do that? I suppose that's one way to stay awake. <laughs> well, hey, 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 easy there. You don't actually have to chug it. Hmm? No, I only bought two. <laughs> Later. We can grab a refill after you're done with that chapter. Hey, that's mine. No, 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 no. You've already had your share. Leave it. I mean it, B. You're already buzzing. <laughs> Chill. Come on, do this one instead of drooling over the coffee. I promise it won't help if you get heart palpitations. Go on, eyes on the textbook. Not to critique your efforts, but I don't think drawing caricatures of Professor Hollis is very productive. B, what the... Are you trying to give yourself a concussion? No, the brain doesn't work that way. Are you okay? Huh? Algebra is an impossible. It's really simple, I promise. No, not just for me, for you too, if you put your mind to it. Hey, who's the girl that decided to rescue the animal shelter last year? And raise $20,000 just by washing cars? And who got me to go bungee jumping even though I'm scared of heights, hmm? Exactly! You! So don't sell yourself short. <laughs> You're amazing. And brilliant. And math is just a small bump in the grand scheme of things. Look, it's all about finding the unknowns. Mm, yeah, like a riddle. Or a puzzle. You used to like those, right? Well, this is basically the same thing, only with numbers instead of pictures. Here. All you need is to remember the quadratic formula. It'll tell you how to solve the different equations. Take this one, for example. We have x squared plus 4x minus 21 equals 0. All right. Now, in this situation, a is equal to 1, right? The coefficient on the x squared term is 1. 
b is equal to 4, and then c is negative 21. So in this case, the x is going to be equal to negative b. Negative b is negative 4 plus or minus the square root of b squared. b squared is 16, right? So 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 21. Now you need to take all of that over 2 times a. a is 1, so all of that over 2. And because we have a negative times a negative here, we get a positive. Mm -hmm. And we had 16 plus, uh, let's see, two, uh, 4 times 1 is 4, times 21 is 84. 16 plus 84 is 100, all of that over 2. You with me so far? Okay. So all this is going to equal negative 4, plus or minus 10, over 2. We can just divide these terms by 2 right now and get a solution that looks something like What are you doing? Well, I know you're looking, it's just that your your hand is No, <laughs> no worries, it happens. Right. Uh where were we? Negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Plus or minus 10 divided by 2 is 5, which shows us that x could be equal to negative 2 plus 5, which is 3, or equal to negative 2 minus 5, which is negative 7. And now you just have to factor these. What two numbers will give you negative 21? No, it's not hopeless. Maybe I'm doing it too fast. Let's try a simplified version. Right? If we just write it out as x equals negative b, and... Uh-huh. Uh, b? Give me my glasses back. <laughs> You know I can't see anything without them. Give them back to me. Please. Thank you. Um, okay. So... How about we skip the algebra and focus on addition and subtraction instead? Want me to write a couple problems for you? Okay. Um, 5, 6 plus 17, 32. And we can do uh, 19 times 56 minus 8. And... <sighs> Is there something in my hair now? <laughs> and why are you playing with it? Cause and reaction. <laughs> We're doing math, not chemistry. Do you need a break? Okay, okay, I get it. But just because we used to share a bathtub as babies doesn't mean you get to play hairdresser now. I thought you said you wanted my help with this. <sighs> yes, I remember. You're distracting me. Stop it. Let's just... Let's... Solve this one, and take a break afterwards, all right? Here. Grab a pencil. No. Start with this one right here. Yeah. Remember what we talked about? Just write the variables above each other and... Please take 
take that goddamn pencil out of your mouth. You know why. Jesus Christ. You did, you did not just say that to me. No. No, you do not need something to suck on to concentrate. <laughs> Give me that. Open your mouth. Good. Look, if this is your way of getting out of studying, it's a bad idea. Because I said so. Sweetheart, I care about you more than anyone else. But this, this teasing shtick you're pulling has to stop. I know you like to mess around, but... <laughs> It's not like I'm unaffected by it, okay? No, no, you don't really mean that. You, we're friends and one wrong move could change all that. Really? You've calculated every outcome every possibility. I don't think you have. Because if you knew the things I've wanted to do to you, 